Hey, what's up? Mike Locke here with ML Web Consulting. Thanks for tuning into this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to create cool, uh, colorful rainbow color prism backgrounds that you see sort of, sort of like here. This website is called flowtv.com. And you, you've pretty much probably seen these type of backgrounds throughout or on the internet. And they're really cool. Um, they consist of a few different colors and it just looks really nice. So uh, these are like color spectrum, color rainbow, or you know prism color prisms or whatever you want to call it but they're just very cool and colorful uh, spectrum color backgrounds and uh, I'm going to show you how to do that really easily in uh, fireworks let's go um, so starting off our canvas let's make our canvas 2000 by 500 just a regular canvas here white background and you're gonna just you know um, draw it another box and um, right here make the box 2000 by 500 and just zero out your X and Y coordinates so we're just going to uh, make that 2000 yeah we're just gonna you can make this you can make it any color for now and this is just gonna be used for our guide and go ahead and grab another box and just make that one a different color like white we're gonna use this to, to um, create our guides for our background and uh, just go ahead and this white box here you're gonna make this one 960 or this would be the size of your the height doesn't matter here 960 is the width that you want your you pretty much want your your website to be and uh, the nine six the, the height doesn't matter for this particular issue so just go ahead and grab these two so you're grabbing this this box here the big box and then the small box you're gonna grab them both and you're going to just center those. In Fireworks, if you if you hold down Control, Alt, and then the number two, it actually centers these two for you. Okay, so let's zoom in here just a little bit. And then it right here with the rulers turned on, with your pointer, you're going to just grab it. You're going to click down on the ruler and then pull out your your um, your guide. Okay, same with here. Just click right here on the ruler. Click and then drag and what it what I'm doing is just basically I'm creating I'm creating guides for where I I want to, to see my uh, my where I, I expect my site to be and then I can I can go ahead and design the background colors based on this guide here okay so then select your your background or whatever and you can delete you can basically delete all the the boxes there okay so now Let's zoom in a bit. Here's our guide. This is where we want to be. This is where we want our design to be centered around. So go ahead and grab, like, you're going to just draw four circles, four big circles, like that. And the first one you're going to do, make it blue. The second one, you're going to make it just say purple. The other one you're going to make green, I guess. Green, and then this one, let's just make this one orange. Okay, so there we have our circles. You select them all, go over into Modify and do Flatten Selection. So we're going to flatten these out. And you're going to go over Filters, and you're just going to do a, add a, add a blur a Gaussian blur I guess that's how you pronounce that so you just add a blur to it and just turn it up turn up the notch to about you know the highest you can and it'll blur it out like that go ahead and hit OK hopefully it didn't crash your computer at this point so now you're getting there so now you want to add a a nice little you want to go under commands creative and just fade fade this out a bit so you want to fade it out from the bottom to the top let me just uh, show you this really quick you're going to fade it out a little bit so that the gradient goes from white to to it goes it fades out here and it goes up to where you can see the the colors a bit and uh, with your 
you can turn the opacity down on the the lower end of your your fade there just so you, you know just so you see it enough and it's not too it's not too uh, too bright also if you want to play around with the opacity of the entire thing you can kind of lower that a little bit depending on how bright you want your colors to be all right so if you if you if you position it well enough you'll see like these little highlights coming out here and it'll show up on your website so let's do this now let's do it let's go ahead and save if you center this correctly according to your guides here if you do a, fi a file export and just save it as GP1 or BG1 just name the file whatever you want I've created a a simple a simple HTML file and I created this style here it's a quick little inline style in the body tag just to center my graphic that I just created so see background colon space URL parentheses you don't need these little dashes if you don't want but you can just put uh, the, the path name for the image in space no repeat no hyphen repeat space top space center and then you do this little semicolon thing here and then close it out alright so take a look at that I'll zoom in on that so you can take a look at that and then all I did was save let me preview and then this is my this is how my background would look and so basically the background stops here and depending on the height of my page my page will just bleed into the white background so my background is actually a white background and all I do is just uh, position this this background image to the top and to the center so on all my pages it, it will look like this and so if you look in if you position your site if you build your HTML site out with a width of 900 you would then stay within the this guide here and you can sort of mock up your website within this this area here and figure out where you're going to position things alright so again this is the the technique used to create certain backgrounds and with this technique you can pretty much do any type of design up here staying within these two staying around centered around these two these two guides here and you can create many different looking backgrounds so this is the one I created this is the, the flow TV one obviously there's a little darker and mine's a little brighter but if I wanted to to spend time and play around and get something similar to, to what they have here I could using the same techniques alrighty so hopefully this was helpful this is how you design a um, you know some best I guess some practices best practices for designing cool colorful uh, background images all right, so hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, mlock at mlwebco.com. And um, look out for more videos. We'll be talking soon. All right.